Sure. Uh, good afternoon. Um, we had the opportunity to work with the Mexican Under-20 National Team. It's a new project that the Mexican Federation has started over the last 18 months where they're really giving a lot of competition to their under-17s, under-20s, and under-21 national team with the hopes of developing players for the national team and also doing well at the Olympics and so on and other competitions, the Under-20 World Cup, which will be happening in Colombia. So because of this new project and idea that they have, you know, they are looking for games to compete because as Paul can tell you, the only way for you to really get a, you know, a good sense of the player's development is to actually play in games. So that's how these opportunities are arising because of a new project that they have. And, you know, they took the, the opportunity to go ahead and play against, you know, NCAA Division I schools like Cal Poly, Cal State Bakersfield, and UC Santa Barbara. So they jumped at the opportunity and are excited to be here. Mark, I missed it. Did, did the Mexican under-20 team, did they contact you guys to play, or did you actively seek them out to try to set this up? It was a little bit of both, a little bit of both. Um, I helped set up a tour at the end of last year. Um, I set up another tour for them at the beginning of this year. And so basically, since we've done some stuff with them already and they liked what we've done with them, they're like, hey, you know what, we have other dates. So they approached me with other dates that they had, which is what we're going to be doing uh, tomorrow and the rest of the week. So it's a little bit of both. It's a little bit of both. But in this specific situation, they proposed dates to us. This is uh, open for both. Um, what does it mean to local fans, local soccer fans, to have a team of this caliber play here in San Luis? Uh, it means a lot. I mean, yeah, you know, there's a big uh, Mexican, Hispanic population here in the Central Coast. And, uh, you know, as we saw last year with uh, bringing in Club America, uh, they're under 20 team. <clears throat> a lot of people came out and enjoyed the game. Um, when you have a national team program, you know, players representing all of Mexico, um, you know, everybody is going to be interested. All, all the player, all the, the fans of Mexico are going to be very interested in this game. They know that, you know, there may be a young player on this U20 team that could eventually possibly play for their full Mexican national team in a World Cup. So you're seeing the brightest stars of Mexico. Uh, right here on the Central Coast, which is very, very exciting. Just to add on, everything Paul said is absolutely correct. I mean, you do have a unique opportunity to see here what the next wave of talent can be. Um, I also think that the community also gets to see what our kids can do. You know, it's not just about, you know, what's coming in from overseas, but it gives us an opportunity to see the great work that people like Paul and the other head coaches at the other schools in Southern California have been able to do in their programs in the last few years. So. I think it's great for the community. I hope people, you know, come out and enjoy the event. But I think more than anything as well, it's a great opportunity to see what the local talent here can do against top-notch players from another country. And this team that Mexico is bringing is not just any team. You know, they're preparing this team very seriously for the qualification process to Columbia 2011. And some of these players will serve as the base for the Olympics in London 2012, which they're also going to try to qualify to. So. This is not something, they're not coming on vacation. You know, these guys know that they're earning a spot and these four games are very important to them. Paul, I know you guys just had your first exhibition over the weekend. Just kind of talk about, you know, not dissing USF or anything, but as far as the level of competition you guys will be able to play in exhibition to get you guys ready. I mean, it seems ideal for, for you and your team. It, it is. It's, it's a great game because um, or all or three, three games are, are terrific. They're all going to be a little bit different. You know, USF, University of San Francisco, was a very physical match. Um, we held the ball the majority of the time. Um, but when you're playing the Mexican U-20s, you know they're, they're full of attacking players. They're going to be possessing the ball. They're going to be playing very good soccer. So um, we expect an attacking game. You know, the score line, I have no idea. But I know the ball is going to be moving quickly. Um, and a very, very skillful technical game. Um, <clears throat> and that's the kind of style that we want to play at Cal Poly. Our, our players are very, very excited to, to uh, show what they can do as well. So very excited. Thanks, guys. Hey, Paul, from, does playing these Mexican national teams in any way help you recruiting, or can you recruit any of these kids to play here? Uh, is, are you allowed to do that? I think, I think most of these players are already signed uh, with professional clubs, the, the majority of them. Um, but as far as recruiting, um, 
you know, you look around the country and there's probably not too many programs out there of the 200 Division One programs that are playing this level of, of game, a Mexican national team. So, you know, there's players all over the country that are looking at this going, going wow, that's, uh, that's pretty neat that a program's actually putting that together for their, for their program, for their players. So in that respect, it can definitely help recruiting. Um, and if there's any players out there that are still eligible for uh, NCAA and college, uh, you know, there's always the opportunity that way. Chance.